Hello there, this is OneUp Indie and today I wanted to show you Fog of War. And there are different kind of definitions what you actually understand under Fog of War. So for example, some just want to have, let's say, uh, well, once you reveal it, then it sticks around and it's revealed forever. Then some people actually like it that it's kind of disappearing what you're seeing, it's fading out. So I'm going to show you both things and for example, what I do, um, because this looks kind of... Uh, strange maybe to you. So basically I have like a surface in this black area and then I have a second one which is a clearer so it's clearing and making things fade out so you have like a constant fork of war then of course this area is not being affected at all. And this is what I'm going to show you in this basic uh, Game Maker Studio tutorial so stay tuned. This is one up Indie, I am there developer of the indie game Clunky Swords and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more consider subscribing because I try to upload every day or every second day a video and well share my stuff that would be sweet and of course give it a thumbs up and all the other jazz because this is showing the YouTube hey this stuff actually has some relevance to me. So let's get right into the good stuff and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go step by step so you actually see the whole process and then, well, you see how this basically works. So first of all, what do we need? I have uh, my camera, you can ignore, this is just for me so I can zoom. And then you need some, some kind of object, which I call object light surface. So it is similar to my light surface, just a little bit modified. And then you will understand what that is. And for example, you can put in different things. So what I used there was a very uh, well big gradient light system. And we're going to do that with a more pixelated approach. So this guy is just 32 by 32 pixels. And this is, of course, more pixelated. So you get this, um, well, um, pixel image, um, th which is cutting through a different, a little bit different. So let's go into our surface so the first thing what do we need because we want to create our first surface so what do we do i just copy paste that stuff in no maybe one line below so i say hey surf and surface create of course now you need to put in your width and your height let's go in here width and a height but that of course you can uh, do as you please i just do it for the whole room so i I'm not being bothered. Of course, you can make it a little bit more advanced just for the field of view. So where your camera is, so for example, here, maybe just this rectangle, but nah, we're going to do that for the whole room. So hopefully your room is not like 10,000 by 50,000 or even more, because then maybe it could get into some difficulties. And here, once, let's say, um, the, the game is ended or you kill it then it will free the surface because that thing is sticking around in your memory and you want it gone therefore if it exists clean it up kill it so surface free bam let's get rid of this so what is the first thing what we want to do so um if you haven't seen my other tutorials on surfaces surfaces are like this this is just a blank canvas you put on top therefore you need to well set it as a target and then after you do whatever you want to do, so this is in between here, then you need to reset the target. If you don't do that, then it will throw an error and won't be working. So this is quite important. Then what do we do? One of the easiest things which you can, can conjure up, draw, clear, and then you put in a color. And this is just basically on your whole surface. So basically in the whole room. Are we doing this with the whole room? Yeah, let's do it for the whole room. Why not? Um, it's painting the whole thing black. So let's get right into the draw event because here we need to first of all do the most uh, important thing. Well, we draw our surface. So how can we do that? Well, draw surface. How did we call it? Well, surf, bam. X and Y, 0, 0, because, well, we start at the top left corner, because here, once again, uh, 
you don't need those. Well, for example, once we started, then we will see just a black screen. This is pretty useless. <laughs> and this is one of the fun things about services. Sometimes they uh, just kill themselves, so they destroy themselves, and then they get you get this nice little error, and you're thinking, what the hell? But yeah, this is part of having services, and therefore we need to do a fail save, which is kind of annoying, but this is part of uh, draw, uh, having surfaces. You always need to check, hey, are we having no surface? So we're just checking, hey, if, oh, let's put in some clamor, what the hell is clamor in English? Oh, I forgot, never mind. Um, then if we are having no surface existing, so here, then we create one. What do we do? But once again, we do surface create. Here I will do something like this, 500 by 500. Um, the meaning behind this is so you can actually see the difference between the, let's say, the constantly um, surface which is always, always there. So for example, once we start it, I'm not sure if this will work. It doesn't, <laughs> because it's not doing anything. Um, so once again, what do we need to do? We need to set the target, reset it, and what do we do in between? Well, we draw, uh, once again, the whole kind of screen black. So this is the same stuff which we did in the creative event. And hopefully now this stuff will work. And it does, and as you can see, this surface is just drawn on 500 by 500, and this is the area which is not affected. So you can actually see the well, how that stuff works. So this is for the very beginner. So if you have seen one of my other tutorials, then you think that, ah, oh, Jesus, this is just old stuff. Show us the new, because I'm here for the fog of war. And this is actually what we are gonna do. So first of all, once again, we do a region. You don't have to do that. This is just for me. Re and region, here we go. So we can actually put some code in here. Bam, bam, bam. Once again, we need to set the target, reset it, and now we do something in between. And this is, here we just say, hey, we want to control an object which we put into the room. I just call it object like bulb two. Let's close it. So basically we're having a thing. And what do we actually want to do? We want to draw Yeah, we can actually kill that. No, 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 bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. So, what do we do here? First of all, we just draw a sprite on the light bulb thingy which I put into the room. So, this is one of them. And then, well, um, on its X and Y position, because with just giving you access to an outside object, which is, well, the other one. This one, if you see it, it's pretty empty. The only thing which it is doing, uh, let's put that in here. The other one was actually following, so we kill it. So basically, this one is just basically following the mouse, the light bulb too. As you can see, there's nothing in there. Um, and therefore, we just want to draw on this specific object, this empty object, my um, light bulb, but this one, the small pixelated one, and you will see why that it's pixelated because it's quite small and therefore we just ramp it out a little bit x and y scale a little bit bigger and then i'd say i don't know 0.7 and for now it wouldn't be doing too much because we need to subtract it and here as you can see it already kind of works because we are drawing over it but it does look a little bit ugly because we want to subtract from the black screen because now we are just drawing on it, like da 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 da. It looks a little bit bubbly. If you wanted to have a bubbly thing, here you go. But now we want to do something else. We want to um, play around with blend modes. Blend modes, I had some other tutorials on that. I'm not gonna repeat it. So this is just basically how you can actually um, do and do some extra cool stuff with blend modes. Just say GPU set blend mode subtract. And now you're subtracting from this black thing which in the end we only set up once. And this is the, the thing, for example, the regular light surface has a thing which is constantly 
making it black and then you punch holes with your whatever thing which you're drawing on. But now we are just saying hey, once we create the surface and then of course it fails. And then it's saying alright, if you fail, come on, I create a new one. And then well, this if statement is not being used, it's just being well uh, ignored because we already have a surface in there. So here we set up the blend mode, we draw this thingy here, but now we need to go back to the normal um, well, blend mode so everything is the same. And now you will see the effect of that we are cutting out and as you can see it's definitely more pixelated. Maybe this is the thing you want it to do. Of course if you want it even more pixelated, well, um, then make the image even smaller and then scale it up and then you have definitely some hard uh, pixels up. So for example if you just wanted to have the regular uh, you go through and you just have the fog of war, this is it. But of course maybe you want to do something else. You want it actually to have a, well, a returning fog of war and therefore I just give you a little extra here. So how can we do that? Well, pretty much the same as here. So we say, uh, we just take this one, this is I guess easier. So in between we now here go to make it darker, so constantly darker. We're just doing one thing and this is of course you can maybe do it with draw clear or draw rectangle. Didn't work for me and therefore I made a little, let's call it not the best solution in my opinion. All pixel, where do I have you? No, 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 no. Ah, here we go. Here I have it. I have this thing here. And this is called black rectangle. And this is just one pixel. So this is the biggest image you can actually have. One pixel of complete blackness. So this is basically nothing. And therefore I just wanted to have it um, once again uh, being drawn. So basically what I do, I just draw an extra rectangle which is black on there. But for now, because it's one, I wanted to make it smaller than uh, 300, uh, 500. So I make it 300 by 300 and then we have uh, like two zones. So you see the difference. And there are some quirks to that. For now, um, this doesn't work too good and therefore we need to do maybe something like this. Do we need it? Uh, let me check this out once again. Yeah, we can actually do something like this. We go once again to our blend mode and now add it to the um, surface. And then of course again reset it. To, let's go for normal again. And here what you will see now is that we are drawing a rectangle over the regular one. As you can see here is the 300 by 300 but it is fading out. So this is the interesting part. This is the permanent one. Bam. Once you or kill stuff then it is of course if the surface fails then it will be all the time black again but well it doesn't do and here as you can see it's slowly fading out and this is the thing depending how much alpha you want to put in and for example if you go let's say just a little bit more below because now we are four percent and it doesn't work <laughs> so here not sure why that is. I guess the, the alpha I guess is too, too, too low to make it darker. So if you just go, what was it? Uh, 247. So let's start it again. This is the thing. I'm not sure why that is. For example here, it is drawing and it is staying. It should actually be going into blackness again. So maybe if you want to tweak it with some alarms then just do, let's say the 48 every uh, let's say 20 seconds or something like this or every every three or four or five seconds and then it fades out definitely much nicer so you i guess you have to tweak here but this is how you actually do with the fog of war this is the whole thing the same as a light engine just well cutting out through the stuff which you set up once so that was it for today hopefully you found this interesting because i was looking for that stuff and the solutions were older with 
other methods which don't exist in Game Maker Studio anymore. So, yay! First one, updated version for Game Maker Studio 2. <laughs> two, two years too late, but here it is. Have a good one. One up indie.